At Comics Pro 2023, Diamond Comics announced that they were cutting their shipping fees by 40% in 2023. Seemed like exciting news, but once you looked at what they were actually saying, that because they had changed office spaces and they would be paying less in rent, that now they could reduce their shipping fees, didn't really seem to make sense. It felt like they were probably screwing retailers over and overcharging them on shipping. Doc and I took them to task, and I like it when I can talk about stuff like this where I can actually help shine a light on some of the really bad things going with comic books and really help out retailers. And it turns out we weren't the only ones that noticed. Jen Haynes, comic store owner of The Dragon in Ontario and current president of Comics Pro, told ICV2.com that Diamond did make a move on the terms of shipping going down 20% in April and 20% again in June, which is fabulous. But they also talked about how they are moving offices and consolidating space, saving them a bunch of overhead that allows them to cut the shipping rates. For a lot of retailers, that confirms suspicions that Diamond was marking up the shipping to cover their other business costs, and the concession is just to give people the price they should have been getting all along. So that announcement didn't go down as well as it could have. I know comic book retailers are notoriously not very happy with change. You know, it's kind of the, I'd rather deal with the devil I know than the devil I don't know when it comes to change. And obviously there was a lot of upheaval, especially from Brian Hibbs, when DC Comics brought competition for Diamond Comics out of the market. But now years later, we're seeing that the devil you knew was screwing you over way worse than you actually thought they were. And now the comic retailers have given them some feedback and saying, hey, that's messed up. What you did was wrong. Can you please answer for this? Steve Jeppe had a reply. Well, really, Diamond Comics distributors as a whole had a reply. And it was let them eat cake, you stupid fucking plebs. We'll charge you the shipping fees that we feel justified in doing, and we'll spend that money on anything we want. And none of it has to do with shipping. We will spend it on everything in the world but shipping, and you will have to deal with it. Because apparently they think there's still a monopoly on comic book distribution in 2023. Well, thankfully, there isn't anymore. And my goodness, I the absolute hubris, the arrogance of Steve Jeppe and Diamond Comics distributors In the response to these comic book retailers who are pointing out a very fair point, why are you screwing us over on shipping fees when the fees aren't actually paying for shipping? A lot of people have said very negative things about Steve Jeppe, including myself, but I have defended him. And certainly I've had people here on the channel come and defend him, specifically Larry from Larry's Comics calls Steve Jeppe the comic book angel. But I wonder if he has a change of tune after he heard what Steve Jeppe had to say to these complaints from the plebs, the lowly comic book retailers about Diamond Comics business practices where they were screwing them over. This is what Diamond Comics representative had to say. First, as you know, Diamond does not simply distribute product. Diamond has continually invested in the direct market and evolved over more than 40 year history to ensure we are providing vital services that have been specifically designed to support and grow your business. And we are the only distributor in our industry that does this. And they pointed out to an email from C. Jeppy to retailers talking about the services they provide because this is what the shipping fees for Dime Comics distributors to retailers was paying for. Previews World Pull Box that makes it easy for your customers to pre-order their weekly books and subscriptions directly from you. Comic Suite POS and Comic Suite Lite software offerings that integrate tightly with our ordering and other systems to reduce labor for retailers and allow them to focus more on their efforts on consumers. The monthly previews print catalog that essentially serves as the book of record for new and reordered products for the entire industry. Our network of consumer-focused websites like Previews World that directly promotes the items you're selling to eager fans. I bet you if you went out there and had a poll of comic book retailers and they said, we can either stop messing your comic books up, ship them to you on time, and to stop destroying the, the ones that are worth a lot of money, or we can provide you with the previous catalog. I imagine an overwhelming majority of retailers would say, we would like you to just do your job. Not that the stuff that he talks about there isn't just his job. You would imagine one of the main distributors for comic books would have an e-commerce website to integrate in and contact their, their retail partners so they can do ordering. Have you looked at Previous World lately? I have to use that site every now and again when I'm researching some of the things I talk about here on the channel. It hasn't been updated in 20 fucking years. It's completely out of date. It's not interactive. It's not intuitive. And it absolutely sucks. But that's where your fees are going to. You can see they haven't invested a fucking dime in that service in probably 20 years. It absolutely sucks. A preview catalog for the entire industry. Like, who gives a shit? You don't need that service anymore. I'm sure old-timers like Brian Hibbs like the book that they can thumb through, 
but you can just put it all online now, baby. You have a website, and that's how you do all of your fucking ordering now anyway. To actually sit there and say, we're taking your shipping fees and printing a catalog with it, even though that should be the responsibility of Diamond Comics themselves, is absolutely ridiculous. They are so far behind the entire industry when it comes to publishing and distribution. It's not even funny. They're just a relic, a dinosaur just sitting there waiting to go extinct. And trust me, after this, everything that's come out and the response that Diamond Comics and Steve Jeppy had to their retail partners, it's much closer to happening today than it's ever been because these guys are frauds. They are fucking people over left and right. I talked to so many retailers and the smart ones have said, you know what, I ordered everything I can from Lunar and I ordered everything I can from Penguin Random House. Obviously I have to order some stuff from Diamond because there are still some small publishers that are exclusive to them. But the services provided by Penguin Random House and Lunar are unrivaled by Diamond and you have to pay more for them. The only dipshit still using Diamond for their Marvel comics are, are just, they're just lazy. That's the only reason they're still using it because they are old dinosaurs. They want to go extinct. They can't realize these guys have been screwing you over for decades now and gleefully doing so because they never apologize. Steve Jeppy and Diamond Comics never said, you know what? We understand your concerns and maybe we could have been more transparent. We will do that moving forward and we definitely will stop using your shipping fees to pay for our office space. We'll actually use your shipping fees to pay for shipping because that could actually use a lot of improvement. Before the pandemic, a lot of retailers would talk about maybe they would show up just on time from Diamond Comics or a day late. But after the pandemic, everything is showing up late from Diamond Comics. Almost nothing arrives on time. Also, you had to pay extra to get your comic books a day early. If you order through Lunar or Penguin Random House, your comic books show up a week early without ever paying for it because that's just part of their service. And Diamond was art charging people just to do normal business with them. These guys have been distributing comic books for 40 years. How is it that Lunar and Penguin Random House are doing it better in less than three? It's absolutely ridiculous that they can't come out and recognize that they've made mistakes and say we're going to do something better. But it's the hubris. It's the arrogance. We will never change. And you are the plebs. And you're lucky we're doing this for you rather than we're screwing you over and we need to change our business. He also claimed free comic book day, organization promotion and facilitation to help launch new stories, bring global attention to our industry and drive new customers into your stores. Comic shop locator service that quickly and easily connects to consumers with your store. The largest selection of comics, graphic novels and collections, along with collecting supplies, clothing, games, cards and collectibles and more from Diamond, the entire Gepi family enterprises network of companies and brands to diversify your store and help you stand out from other stores competing for consumer dollars. Coordination of support during national disasters and other hardships for affected retailers between Diamond Publishers and organizations like Bink and CBLDF. An onboarding team to assist new retailers, along with a dedicated team of retailer services representatives to answer product questions, research and resolve issues and provide other support. Financial support for retailers, including extending terms or special arrangements to support you during business disruptions. The last thing is really the only thing that's above and beyond. Having service representatives to talk to retailers is part of your job. And having an onboarding team, why? The retailers are already paying for Comics Pro. That's what they do. And as far as we're here to coordinate, you know, relief as far as hardships, the last time we had a hardship, your dumb asses actually just shut down the entire comic book industry. You actually said, we're just going to stop distributing comic books, uh, you know, to BD. When we start up, we'll let you know. Thankfully, DC Comics came online and said, you know what? That doesn't make any sense. We would actually like to sell products and keep comic books flowing. Let's bring on some competition. Obviously, we end up getting Penguin Random House, so they don't do that well at all. Free comic book day is a money suck for comic book retailers. They actually lose money on free comic book day, and there's no evidence that that brings in new customers to the shop that are actually going to keep coming back. Yes, they show up for a free comic book day for the stuff that's free that they don't have to pay for, and then they show up the next year on free comic book day, and then they don't show up for the 364 days in between. There's no evidence that free comic book day does anything for retailers just in general. Smart retailers will do some good business because they'll have a bunch of sales at the time. They're like, well, we've got all these Marvel trades or DC trades. Let's put them on sale big time and see if we can just offload them and free up some of our shelf space and stuff like that. But for the most part, free comic book day doesn't help anybody. The comic shop locator service, the only people in the world who know what that is are fucking comic book readers. You're not helping anyone. 
that doesn't know where comic book shops are, find their comic shop. A hardcore fan, if they move or something or their store goes out of business, are going to find a shop with or without that service. I think it's a good service, but it's not exactly promoted. And I don't think it really does anything. And I don't think a lot of retailers want to be paying higher shipping fees for the comic shop locator service. They could probably get together and do it better through Comics Pro, the actual retailer service that they pay fees to for all this kind of stuff. It's absolutely insane that they're touting, well, we have a large collection of comic books. You're a fucking comic books distributor, dipshit. You're supposed to have a large selection of comic books. You should have the world's largest selection of comic books. You've been doing this for 40 years, but that's the problem. You never improved. You just sat there stagnant for 40 years because you were a fucking monopoly. And now that you have competitors online, now you have to admit, oh, yeah, we were gouging you on your shipping fees. So we're going to start bringing them down a little bit. But they also raised shipping fees after the pandemic. Lunar never did that. Penguin Random House came online with no shipping fees from day one. Why anyone is still dealing with these guys? Like, I can understand if you were going through a hard time. You know, when Steve Jeppy and Diamond Comics helped get you out of there with one of their loans or whatever. Like, I can understand some loyalty at that point, but sometimes you just got to realize who you're dealing with. They need to go away because they're a detriment to comic books. The comic book industry is shrinking, and it has been for a long time now. Diamond Comics is a big reason why, along with DC and Marvel. They're all fucking these retailers over, yet they show them undying support because it's convenient. Well, I don't want to have to use three different passwords to order comic books. Grow the fuck up, man. Passwords are easy. Just use the same password for each website. Sure, they all operate a little bit different, but it's not worth keeping these guys in business after they've been screwing you over for decades at this point. Some of you might remember I brought on John Leone from the 616 Comics when Penguin Random House came online as Marvel's distributor, and he had a lot of issues. A lot of his product was damaged. He was not happy with the service that he was provided. I brought him on the channel. I let him air his grievances and say, hey, this is the stuff that has to change immediately. I can't deal with this. You want to know what happened? The very next day, someone from Penguin Random House contacted him and said, hey, I want to hear what your experience was and how can we make it better? I actually brought him back on the channel. We talked it all out. This is something you would never, ever hear from anyone dealing with Diamond Comics. You can't see the video here. There's also a link in the video description.